A tricycle cat. Uh, one of the most common modes of transport in the Philippines, and you generally get around. Get around the local town. Um, they're not long distance vehicles. They're, I wouldn't advise it. They're not exactly uh, road worthy in in many cases. They're not fast. They're old bikes. Um, the exhaust system sounds like they're made out with tin cans. You know, it's, they're they're reliable for getting around the local town. You know, going to the supermarket, etc. You can load these up and then you'll just pay for the traveling back with it so if you are in the Philippines with no transportation you can hire one of these and they'll take your shopping back to the house for you you know obviously you'll sit in the back of the bike or whatever also recommend being a foreigner because we're a little bit bigger or twice the size <laughs> that we sit on the back of the bike rather than trying to get into the little cramped um, units the, the sidecar because it is quite tight in there you find that you have to lift your legs up because uh, my legs, I mean my legs aren't, aren't that long but even me, I have to like basically pull my my right leg in because it's so so tight to get into that little space um, but they are used a lot, especially in the rain because you, the thing with the Philippines is a lot of open sewers so when the heavy rain starts and the flooding starts um, what happens is all this crap comes up and it starts covering the roads and it's like a grey like dirty uh, detergent type colour of the water um, to put it politely and brings me on another subject the reason this happens with the pipework is they'll build a subdivision, say the subdivision's got 100 houses so they'll build it, so you've got your pipe this size and they'll go with the next size they don't think okay let's do a bit of planning here, we don't need a bit of pipe this size, we're actually one of this size because we're going to be digging up the road anyway let's go four sizes up or at least four sizes up because it's already not um, big enough for the road uh, for the amount of usage it gets So, but they'll often just move one size up even though it's already over capacity um, there's a lot of stuff you see that's bizarre I remember when they dug this open sewer um, along the side of this road so they then took all the soil and just tipped it straight onto the the land because it was an empty farm field they basically just mounted it up so you can guess around when it rained all that mud then went it all into this new open sewer and just blocked it all because all the soil back went back to where it came from which was back in the old <laughs> a lot of this short term thinking goes on um, and you sit there going okay what do, what can you do about it because it doesn't matter what you say they're still going to do it anyway um, like that it's not my project that was part of the subdivision um, but the effects become your problem because that then takes a functioning sewer then blocks it so then the whole sewer doesn't work for the entire street and um, there's, there's quite a nice house along that that road I did in my um, what do you call it in my video about the the little area we live in Mingdanilia. It floods all the time, and it, the flooding is not from it. It's because it's near the road, because obviously water runs towards the the um, the street because it's, it's going downhill wants to go across the road and then down into the river uh, sorry into the sea but what happens is they put like, the, like I said the pipe work they go from this to this but they actually need this um, so what happens it starts flooding at the bottom now because that subdivision they're building um, it wasn't designed to take that quantity of water waste now does that really affect my life? That says no, it doesn't affect me at all. Because this is what I'm saying about these uh, little uh, tricycle cats. You just hop in one of them, and you, the, I mean the water's only about, what, an inch deep? So it's not it's not a lot of water, but it, it's probably about 15, 20 foot long, we, you know, on that road bit, that little bit at the bottom. But we don't live anywhere near that, so you just go through on a, on a bit of transportation. It doesn't affect you. But it's just frustrating because the solution is 
put the right pipe work in in the first place.